An important role of the circulator is to safely transfer patients to and from a variety of conveyances, including stretchers, beds, wheelchairs, One, and the operating two, table. Three. The transportation and positioning of patients in the healthcare setting is among the responsibilities that creates the most risk for patients and care workers alike. Patients may be unsteady or semi-conscious, unable to use protective mechanisms that would normally prevent falls or other injuries. Diagnostic and operating room tables are narrow. Transfer vehicles, such as stretchers, if they are not locked, can slip unexpectedly. It is the surgical team's responsibility to perform safe transfer, protecting the patient against injury during surgery. Some of the equipment used for safe transfer of patients include stretchers, carts, or gurneys, slider and roller boards. Each of these items has safety features that help prevent injury to the patient. Some of the safety features include side rails, safety straps, and wheel locks. To transfer a patient from a stretcher to an operating table while the patient is conscious, at least four people are required and careful technique must be observed to avoid injury. Align the stretcher with the operating table and make sure the wheels are locked on both the stretcher and the table. Never move a patient onto an operating table with wheels that do not lock. The patient may fall to the floor between the stretcher and the table. Make sure gurney's locked. It's locked. All right. Excellent. Before beginning the move, always tell the patient what you're going to do. We're going to move you over to the table, but don't do anything until we tell you to, okay? okay. Begin by freeing up all tubing and monitoring leads to allow slack during the move. One person should assist with the feet, while two others assist at each side of the patient. Transfer drainage tubes, IV bags, and other attached medical equipment items. Ensure that IV lines and drainage bags are all secured before unlocking the stretcher wheels for removal of the stretcher from the room. Okay. In order to transfer an immobile or unconscious patient from the operating table to a stretcher, at least four people are required. Teamwork is absolutely essential. A plexiglass transfer board or patient roller is used. The patient is transferred on the board or patient roller, which is then pulled from one bed to the other using a draw sheet. In addition to preventing shear injury, these aids reduce the vertical exertion required to move the patient and protects those moving the patient. To use a transfer board, you will need to log roll the patient. Two to three people stand at the patient's side and grasp the opposite edge of the bed sheet or draw sheet. The edge of the draw sheet is pulled toward the assistants to log roll the patient into a position on his or her side with the front of his or her body facing the assistants. The anesthesia care provider guides and directs the move. She remains at the patient's head to protect the airway and prevent injury. Anesthesia on your go. All right, one, two, three. Okay. And again. And the transfer board is placed to the back side of the patient and those supporting the patient gently ease him or her back into the supine position on the board. One, By grasping three. the board and pulling it across the stretcher, personnel can easily transfer the patient to the stretcher. Whether the patient is conscious or unconscious, the same precautions are used when moving the patient to or from the operating table. When the patient is brought into the room before being anesthetized, the surgical team performs a timeout. The timeout validates the patient's name, surgical procedure, incision site, and any medical condition pertinent to the patient. All right, timeout. Okay. Dr. Halls and Dove, uh, this is Jennifer Love. She's allergic to penicillin, and we're doing a right colectomy. Is that correct? I agree. Okay. Everyone agree? Agreed. Okay.